Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2022 action comedy Accident Man 2 Hitman's Holiday. The film is directed by George and Harry Kerber and it stars Scott Atkins, Ray Stevenson, Perry Benson and Sarah Chang. Now the film is a sequel to the was it 2018 film Accident Man that starred Scott Atkins, a film I have watched and I I'm fairly sure I reviewed on the channel. Uh, and I thought it was a decent enough film. Um, I don't remember an awful lot about it, so it can't have been that memorable. But I do, don't remember disliking it or anything. And I believe it's based on some kind of comic. I'm not 100%. And I know it's a, it's a project that Scott Atkins is really fond of. He talks about it quite a lot if you watch like his YouTube channel and things like that. So, uh, and I know he's been heavily involved in this sequel. He's one of the producers. I've no doubt involved in all the fight choreography. And he also co-wrote the film as well. So it's a bit of a passion project for him, I think, this character in these films. And the film follows on from the first one. Um, after the events of the first film uh, in London, he has relocated to Malta now. He's still continuing his uh, job as a hitman. Um, he's... M.O., if you like, is he makes it look like an accident, hence the name Accident Man. So all the people that he is supposedly uh, contracted to kill, he makes them look like accidents. However, while in Malta, an old friend from London, uh, Fred, turns up. He, he gets on really well with him. They decide to team up and do a lot of these contracts together. Um, and then there is a crime boss in Malta, her dickhead of a son, really. Uh, someone's put a contract out on him. Um, and she basically kidnaps Fred and then says to Mike, the character played by Scott Atkins, you need to get my son back and keep him alive, otherwise I'm going to kill your friend. So Mike has a big task on his hand. He's got to fend off all manner of different hitmen to keep um, this Bob Boss's son alive uh, and keep Fred alive. Right, what are my thoughts on Accident Man 2? Well, like I said, I don't remember an awful lot about the first one. I, I remember, obviously, that it, it, it had good martial arts. Um, I don't remember it being particularly special in any way. But I have to say, I really quite enjoyed this one. Um, as sequels go, um, and I, don't, I may be wrong, because like I say, I haven't seen the first one for a while. I haven't re-watched it since I watched, the first, it, watched it for the first time. I feel as though this is probably a little bit better than the first one. Uh, and I've no idea what I scored the first one, if I'm honest. I haven't rechecked. It might have been the same score. I'm not really sure. But I, I, I quite enjoyed this one. I'm not going to lie. I thought this is one of the best characters that I've seen Scott Atkins portray. Now, I think Scott Atkins, as many of you watching this probably think the same thing, he's... He is underrated as an action star. I don't think he gets enough credit for um, how talented he is in the action genre. He's just above, like, star power. He does a lot of movies, a lot of these type of movies, and he is well respected in the in the business, I'm sure, as, like, a performer and a fight choreographer and all this kind of stuff. And you see him pop up in mainstream movies quite a lot. I think he's, in, he's going to be in the new John Wick film. Uh, he was in that recent film, Day Shift, on Netflix. He, he pops up in films like that all the time, but he never really gets the recognition he deserves. Uh, I've even dedicated a playlist on this channel to Scott Atkins films, because I really do enjoy the majority of them. He's made some stinkers, of course he has, but show me who hasn't. But I think this is probably right up there with, apart from maybe the character played in Debt Collector, this character he plays here, it feels like more like him, more like who he is as a person. He's, he's quick-witted, one got loads of one-liners, and he's badass at the same time. And I really do enjoy Scott Atkins playing this character. He does a really good job in this film. Um, on top of that, you've got Ray Stevenson. It's Ray Stevenson. He's doing what he does best. Um, and I, But I really like Perry Benson as Fred as well, this guy that... Um, you know, turns up in Malta and him and the Mike character get on really, really well. And Mike's got to keep him alive by getting rid of all these hitmen trying to kill this mob boss's son. But the other character that really took out for me was Xanta, the son of this mob boss. He was an arrogant little git who he just wanted the Scott Atkins character to kill. But he couldn't because he has to keep him alive. Um... And what this character does, he's so arrogant, 
Um, he's got like a tracer in his watch. And because it was a gift from his mother, he doesn't want it broken. So he swallows this, uh, like, part of this watch. Um, but it's got a tracer in it. So all the hitmen have got focused right on him. So it is, he shoves a load of laxatives down his face and has to wait until that moment happens to keep him alive from all these hitmen. And it's a lot of fun. The, 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 the interactions between these two characters, this, this mob boss's son, Zante, or Dante, sorry, and Mike are just precious. At one point, this Dante calls him, um, uh, you just, uh, uh, you look like Ben Affleck with a melted face or something like that. It just, it made me laugh out loud a couple of moments in this film. I thought the humour was just right in this film. It was genuinely funny at times. And then when the action needed to be on point, my God, was it on point. Some outstanding action scenes in this film. Beautifully choreographed. And you could tell that Scott Atkins hired the cream of the crop for this film, obviously because he had some creative control here. So he's hired the best, I think. Uh, and some of the action scenes here are some of the best I've seen for a, a couple of years. Superb stuff. And it's not just all about Scott Atkins looking brilliant. Uh, Sarah Chang, who plays Wong, who he basically hires to do like a, an Inspector Clouseau thing where she just pops up occasionally and beats the crap out of him to keep him keep him on his toes sort of thing. It's a great addition to the film and it's very, very funny because she keeps kicking him in the knackers. Um, so I thought the dialogue was good here. I thought the humour was on point. The action was spectacular and it really did hold my attention. Is it, is it a cut above the rest? Probably not. It's one of those films that if, it, if they'd have chucked a, you know, another 10 or 15 million onto the budget, it would have escalated it to... A real AAA type film. At the, uh, as it stands here, it's a really, really good quality, almost like B-movie action film. Um, and one of the best Scott Atkins films I've seen for a while where he's been like the star of the film. So I really, really enjoyed this one. I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. If you love Scott Atkins, trust me, you are going to enjoy this film because I think it's really, really nicely done. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review. I'll be back with more reviews and content on the channel very, very soon.